To find the frequency of an alternating current, AC mains with a sonometer. If a wire of length L having mass per unit length M vibrates in fundamental mode under tension T, then frequency of vibration is given by N is equal to 1 by 2 L under root P by M. This is called fundamental frequency of the wire. Madam, how can we find the frequency of an alternating current AC mains with a sonometer? If a wire of length L under tension T is set into resonant vibrations by an electromagnet through which alternating current is passing, then frequency of ACF will be half of the frequency of the vibration of the wire N. Frequency of AC F is equal to N by 2. Let's do an experiment to find the frequency of an alternating current AC mains with a sonometer. Our aim here is to find the frequency of an alternating current AC mains with a sonometer. Apparatus required are a sonometer having a soft iron wire stretched over it, an electromagnet, a step-down transformer, a hanger, slotted half kilogram weights, a physical balance, a weight box, a meter scale, and clamp stand. Procedure Place with the sonometer on the top of a table in such a way that the pulley remains projected beyond the edge of the table. Check that there should be no friction in pulley. If there is friction, then oil it properly. Attach 1 kg weight on the hanger and pass the wire over the pulley such that it stretches horizontally over the resonance box of the sonometer. Clamp the electromagnet in a stand and connect it to the secondary coil of the step-down transformer. Adjust the position of the electromagnet in such a way that its poles lie close to the middle of the sonometer wire. Switch on the AC mains and adjust the length of the vibrating portion of the sonometer wire by sliding one of the knife edges until the wire begins to vibrate. Now adjust the position of the knife edge by sliding through the small distance in such a way that the amplitude of vibration of the wire becomes maximum. At this position, the rider placed on the wire flies off. Note the length of the vibrating portion of the wire between two knife edges and the tension T is equal to mg in the wire. Bring the two bridges closer and then increase the length slowly until the maximum amplitude of resonant vibration is obtained. Now measure the length of the vibrating portion of the wire and tension and record it in length increasing column. Now make the two bridges apart from each other and then decrease the length of the wire slowly between the two bridges until the maximum amplitude of resonant vibration is obtained. Measure the length AB between the edges of the two bridges and record it in length decreasing column. Take at least three more observations by increasing the tension half kg each time by repeating steps 7 to 10 and record the length of the wire for maximum amplitude while length decreasing and length increasing. Observations Length of the sonometer wire L is equal to x centimeter. Mass of this length L of the sonometer wire W is equal to x gram. Mass per unit length of the sonometer m is equal to w by l is equal to x gram per centimeter. Mass of the hanger is equal to x kilogram is equal to x gram. Value if acceleration due to gravity g is equal to x centimeter per second square. Table for resonant length of the wire, serial number, load, 
including mass of the hanger m gram tension t is equal to mg dyne resonant length of the sonometer wire length increasing l1 cm length decreasing l2 cm mean length l is equal to l1 plus l2 by 2 cm frequency n is equal to 1 by 2 l under root p by m hertz mean frequency n is equal to x hertz result frequency of the ac mains by sonometer and electromagnet is equal to x hertz the standard value of frequency of ac mains is equal to x hertz difference in experimental value and standard value is equal to x hertz percentage of error is equal to difference by standard value into 100 is equal to x percent precautions sonometer wire should be soft iron sonometer wire should be free from kinks and stretched horizontally between the bridges the hanger or slotted weights should not touch the table the poles of electromagnet should be very close to the wire in its middle of the vibrating segment the length of the wire while increasing or decreasing should be noted when the amplitude of the vibrating wire is maximum the weight of the hanger should be measured while calculating tension in the wire remove the weight from the hanger after completion of experiment sources of error the wire may not have uniform area of cross section the wire may have kinks pulley may not be frictionless knife edges of the bridges may not be sharp the frequency of ac mains may not be stable weights may not be correct thank you ma'am this experiment has made the concept very easy to understand